What up? Hello. Okay. So, the AC went off, right? It sure did. Like, it's really fucking hot. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, you want to cry, right? I want to leave. Like a little beach. Okay. So, the AC goes off, like, breaks. So, the apartment is like, uh, what do you do? He's like, oh, I'm going to fix it. Like, I need to order this part or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, he orders the part. It shows up, like, two days later. We're like, did I? Actually, I don't remember it being that bad. Oh, yeah, because, like, the hurricane is a couple, was a couple hundred miles below us. So the weather was kind of decent mm-hmm. here for those two days. So we, so we waited two days for this. I don't know why I mentioned all this. Anyway, <laughs> so we wait two days. The part gets here, and he goes to install it, and he's like, oh, it's not the part. It's like... The wiring's fucked up. I need. I'm gonna go get my guy, and he's gonna, he's gonna replace the um, thermostat. Dude, how would you describe the thermostat that we had in this apartment the entire time we've lived here for years and years? Seventies, maybe. Do you think it's literally from like truly from the seventies? Yeah, I don't think this particular apartment unit has been updated since. Maybe the 80s at the latest. Dude, have you ever been to, like, older relatives' houses? And it's like, dude, that's that's the same thermostat as ours. Mm-hmm. It's, like, so freaking old school, dude. It is... It's ancient. Like, imagine in this story, place yourself in, like, your great-grandmother's house. Your great-great-grandmother's house. Whatever grandmother you had that was the first to own some electricity, imagine what her thermostat would be. That was ours. And it was so broken. It was like, it's a guess. It's a gamble. Is this working right? Uh, There's no way to know. All the buttons are screwed up, right? So what do they do? Okay, so they're like, okay, we're going to get this guy and we're going to change out the... um, thermostat and i was like yes the gods are on my side moving on up right and the guy shows up and he's he's installing it on the wall like he's replacing it and in my mind i was i i could imagine a hundred percent of what was going on in the other room i saw him like cutting open like the home depot box and a crispy new thermostat it just shows up you know and he's like installing it with fucking care he's like treating it like a baby or something tenderly right he's singing songs to it i don't know i imagine good things i'm imagining a lot of good things i even text my sister i was like dude i told you the property value of our apartment's gone up because i bought some uh workout equipment i was like this has improved the quality so i was like the gods are on our side they see i'm trying so Things are moving along, right? So I'm imagining all these great things, blah, blah, blah. An hour after the guy leaves, the AC is now working. It's like, yes. I go over there to check out the amazing new one that I had pictured. Obviously, we can see where this fucking story is (laughs) going. I look over there. Dude, this is the most... This one is worse. They replaced it with an old used thermostat that is worse. I I posted a picture on, um, it's not on the food Instagram, it's not on the rich bitch cooking Instagram, but I have another Instagram, strange train merchant or whatever from my bullshit ass Etsy shop, but I posted a picture on there in case anybody wants to see this thermostat, dude, it looks, describe it quickly, how would you describe this thermostat? It looks like trash. It's got spray paint on it. Dude, it's like You can't read anything. Why why was, like, half of it spray painted? Not an improvement. In the way it's spray painted, it's like... And guess what? The AC didn't work. It worked for, like, another 30 minutes and shut off for the next two days. I was so amused. My jaw was on the floor. I was smiling. I was like, this is the most hilarious thermostat in my entire life. Peace.